Ryan, you've been on both sides of that fence, and I know you feel for Mike uh, just a tough night at the office. Yeah, they've, you know, they've gone on a little bit of a bad stretch, but every single team, you know, out there has gone on that same bad stretch. So I, I'm very confident, you know, they're going to be able to you know, regroup tonight and probably put her together tomorrow to uh, make a push for the playoffs. But yeah, if you, you always feel for a guy when you have to play out there for, you know, multiple ends, knowing that it's just going to be run up and down. Right. Yeah, and you guys can't let that get to you. You guys went out and took care of business, and uh, perfect start to the championship pool, and you couldn't ask for much more. Absolutely, you know, we we knew coming into today that we needed a good performance to put ourselves in a position for the playoffs, and we were able to do that. So, um, you know, it's this is a marathon, not a sprint. This event, so we're just trying to take it one game at a time, and you know, hopefully find ourselves in the playoffs. One two game would be, you know, exceptional. You know, when I compare your team today to circa 2014, there's so much inner uh, outer calm I guess is the way to put it uh, but yet I know you know in talking to Brad and talking to you and talking to the guys I know inside you guys are burning just as, as bright as as hard as you were four years ago yeah absolutely we you know we have a massive desire to um, win another briar and that's that's our sole goal I think that now the difference is is that you we've been through it as a team every which way you can possibly um, win a briar and lose a briar so uh, it, it comes with a sense of calming and you just basically now go out you try your best um, we know we're prepared for the event so now it's just going out and trying your hardest and hopefully the chips fall where they may and you know hopefully we're on top at the end and you like you say you've been so close uh, for a few years now uh, to getting back on top of that podium I guess the question is is this team ready to take that final step up top yeah we're you know we've we've been ready we were ready at the trials and uh, it just it just didn't go our way and um, we're ready here we we've been you know we've been a very consistent team over the you know our over our lot like our time together so uh, I've we've always been close to the top of winning events it's just sometimes your number gets drawn and it's you and sometimes it doesn't and, and that's just the reality of sport and especially the reality of curling. Darren what was the talk after this afternoon's game that got you guys into the right mindset for tonight? Well it's just remember where we are six and two at the Briar I mean you're gonna lose some games at the Briar uh, Dunstone threw a great game against us, and you know I was, I wasn't my best that game, and I know I, I'm going to play better. And uh, the boys, you know, the boys hung in there. We made a good game out of it, so I didn't think there was any reason to get down on it. Just stick with it, keep doing what we've been doing all year. In in some ways too, probably the quick turnaround was not a terrible thing because you don't have time to dwell on it. For us, I mean, we take a lot of pride in having more energy all the time and uh, just kind of outworking other teams. That's one of our goals, and, and uh, you know. I think you can put them back to back. We'll play four in a row. We don't care. <laughs> um, just what's the attitude going in into tomorrow? I mean, uh, the great thing is uh, fate's in your hands right now. Yeah, I mean, we feel good. Seven and two. Um, we're just playing one game uh, every time just to, to try and win the game. We did the same thing at the trials. Worked out pretty good for us. Um, so that's what we're aiming for. What are you seeing in Brendan right now that uh, that uh, might, people might not appreciate in terms of the way he's throwing out? He just he seems very at home out there right now. But what are you seeing as uh, when you're holding the broom for him? Well, he's he's always been that way. Brendan is uh, the 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 more pressure, the better for Brendan, and he's just got that fire. He's very competitive, and uh, like I, I I really think he's one of the best. Um, and you look at his age and. And, and what he's doing, it's pretty incredible, actually. That's a nice way to open the championship pool. Perfect day for you guys, and uh, uh, just must be filled with confidence going into this last day of round robin. Yeah, definitely. That was two grinding wins out there uh, today, and um, we're lucky we battled back in both games and hung in there. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling it after that day. Yeah, what does it say about the team, though, too? I mean, you've won in a variety of ways, but sometimes you have to grind them out, and that's you can take a lot of pride out of grinding sometimes. Well, yeah, that's that's right in our wheelhouse. That is what we do best. <laughs> we never do anything easy, and, uh, and it continues. <laughs> so wh what's the attitude going into tomorrow? I mean, obviously, uh, you're that close to getting a playoff spot, if not one, two game. Uh, yeah. Do you think, do you allow yourself to think too far ahead or not? No, just make shots, win games. That's all we're thinking. You know, we're, we'll be very happy to be in the final four. Um, 
and you know we'll go from there. But yeah, I mean one two is obviously a huge bonus, but we just need to go out and play well tomorrow. We we were weren't at our best today, good enough. Obviously we got two W's, but we can we can be better tomorrow. There was an invite to the patch. I, to you yeah, the yeah. Your, I'm gonna pass, pass, and that's a it's a hard pass. It's only because it's hard for me to pass on it because I love it. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna pass tonight. I'm I'm feeling pretty tired. I'm I'm looking forward to going and put my feet up and uh, enjoying that enjoying the win today. I imagine that's a breath of relief out there and a lot of emotion. That was a fun game to win. Yeah, it was. Uh, we played really, really good in that game, and Steve played really good. Uh, a couple of their misses turned out you know, pretty good in the eighth end. It looked like we were going to get two, and, and his role in a perfect spot where we couldn't. And just felt like one of those games where we weren't going to get given anything, and, and uh, you know, I felt like we, we really earned the win tonight. Tenth end, your uh, your intern there, the oh. big fist pump. That's uh, that's the shot of the briar for you so far. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, it's probably not the most dramatic shot, but it was that was tough. That was really tough. Uh, Matt put a perfect draw in there. If it curls another inch, I probably got to play the run back and, and and try and peel it off. And um, yeah, we swept it perfect. I threw it well, and that was a big shot. Huge. You're, pl you're playing Saturday. You're in the final four. It's just a matter of where in that final four, but uh, another step uh, accomplished here. Yeah, certainly. You got to get in the playoffs. That's the first step. Now we just got to worry about position, and hopefully we can get into that one-two game. That's the big goal. Uh, I think we play Jacobs tomorrow afternoon, uh, so that'll be a that'll be a tough battle. But I think if we win that, your math is probably better than mine. But I think we should be in the in the final. Um, so yeah, it's a position we want to be in, and now we just got to execute tomorrow.